Hello, welcome to Book to Bestseller TV. Today I'm going to go over how to look up your book printing and royalty costs or royalty checks, royalty amounts, and book printing costs with CreateSpace in Ingram Spark. This actually comes up for me to look up for authors all the time and it's super easy to do, so I just wanted you to see how it is done. So first we're going to go to createspace.com and just go to books, publish a trade paperback. Then we will go to buying copies. Let's start there first. Okay, so scroll down. Your interior type here, if it's black and white, that's the typical black and white without bleed. Black and white with bleed means that the there are images in the book that kind of bleed off the edge of the page, and so they require trim. Um, but let's just say black and white, that's the typical. And then you pick your book size. Um, five and a half by eight and a half is a normal size. Six by nine is a normal size. Eight and a half by 11 is another normal size. So let's just say it's a six by nine. Number of pages. I'm going to pick 240 because that's an a even signature. On signatures, that's usually a group of 16 or 24 pages that are grouped in a signature. And so if you have an even signature, that makes it easier to print at a traditional printer. However, CreateSpace and Ingram Spark only require that you have an even number of pages in order to print with them. So this could be 238 or 236 or 208 or 210 or whatever, but um, you just have to pick the number of pages that you have. And in fact, if you estimate number of pages, then um, that will work for the calculator too. We're not actually logged into anything at this point. So if I want to order just one book, I'm going to hit calculate. It'll cost $3.73 per each. And then if I want to just ship one book, and I'm just going to say continental United States, it'll cost $3.59 at five business days, eleven eighteen for expedited or $15.98 priority. Now I want you to notice if I do a hundred here, look, my per book cost $3.73 does not change and then my shipping cost of course would change so you actually do a little bit better if you're ordering more books but it's not on the printing it's actually on the shipping okay so that's your print calculator now let's go to royalties oh one more thing on print calculator if you do a full color at 240 let's look at the difference here Look how much more expensive it is. So usually when I'm talking with authors, we talk about can your book be black and white or does it have to be full color because you will definitely pay quite a bit more if you have to have a full color book. Okay, so your royalty calculator, that is a function of the discount that Amazon is giving the customer who could be retail or wholesale and the printing and shipping costs of the book. So what you get, the leftover, is your royalty. Your interior type, let's do black and white again, trim size 6 by 9 same, same, 240 pages, and let's say I'm charging $17.99, which would be about right for that size of a book. If it were $14.99, that's still kind of a good range. Your Amazon royalty is $5.26, so anytime the book is sold on Amazon, that would be your royalty. Your expanded distribution means it's going to a wholesale customer who has a wholesale discount, and so then your royalty is lower because you have a percentage off of retail minus your printing and shipping costs, and that is the amount that's left over. So let's go back to our $17.99 and double check that. So we have $7.06 on Amazon, $3.46 on the expanded distribution. Okay, so we're done with that. And you know, you can, you can adjust this and play with this depending on what your book is and um, how many pages and all of that. So let's go to Ingram Spark. Very similar here. Let's go to the tools section. It's directly under resources, tools. And we'll go down to the print and ship calculator. This is what I need. It's not clickable. So here we are back on the tools page. I actually had to open a new browser window. Um, I'm using an Edge browser window instead of the Chrome one. I don't know why Chrome wasn't working, but it wasn't. 
So here's what we are expecting to see. Here is a print and ship calculator. This is the amount that you will pay as the author to get your book done. So let's just use the same parameters. Okay. And I'm going to go back through these. I'll go back through these again. I'm just going to grab my own personal location because I know it. <laughs> okay, so here we are with the trim size. This is the size of the book. I'm picking black and white interior. That doesn't mean your cover is black and white. That's just the interior. Black and white interior with white paper. You can actually pick cream paper on either of the outlets. You can also pick color and you can have different kinds of, of um, quality uh, on the uh, color printing. So like premium colors, the top level, really excellent job on the, the printing. Um, standard color 70 is, actually, is really good. 70 pound is just like a slightly thicker paper than 50 pound paper. I've done all three of them and all three of them are excellent. So just a typical book, black and white printing, um, paperback, uh, usually you know you can do hardback and you have these choices uh, case laminate is it's just basically like the covers wrapped around the um, the book and then um, cloth is cloth is um, blue and gray that's that's like um, the actual book and then you have a dust jacket that is printed so those options are available. You will definitely pay more for a hardback than you will a paperback. And then um, if you, a perfect bound is like the typical, that's the glued spine. Saddle stitch is a um, stapled spine. P typically I'm always picking perfect bound. Page count 240, that was what we did before. So let's calculate that. So there we are with economy service and then our shipping options. So economy service, um, you know, that's just basic. They'll, they'll print it as they can. And then um, basic shipping. So if you'll notice, this cost is a little bit higher than we had on CreateSpace. I think CreateSpace was, what, 386 or something. So let's see what happens if we put in 100, because if you'll recall, it was the same exact thing for, for um, create space okay so this is new they are not giving me a discount for a higher level of a higher quantity of printing this is brand new um, now of course um, shipping is going to be a little bit less let's do a thousand and see if they get quantity discounts at a thousand no oh different 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 this is brand new this is brand new as of the last time I checked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Fascinating. So they're not giving discounts on quantity sales anymore. So that makes going to a traditional printer a better option than it used to be. Okay. So let's go to the publisher compensation. This is actually your royalty calculator. We're going to go trim size again, six by nine, black and white printing, white paper, and we'll go to paperback, perfect bound and gloss cover. Matte cover is actually really pretty too. 240 list price, let's say $17.99. Wholesale discount, this can be anywhere from I believe 35 to 55. Of course your wholesale customer is going to want a higher discount so you know that's fascinating. Um, okay so now we are at $4.03 for um, the royalty back so that's pretty good. Um, let's change that to $14.99 like we did on the other, and now you're at $2.68. So um, just kind of as a, as a um, basic how-to, this is how you do it. Um, we could do color, and if you wanted to see what that looks like, just do calculate, yeah. So your, your um, actual cost here has to be a little bit higher to cover your list price, less your discount to actually get some sort of compensation at all. So I hope that helps. This is all really kind of simple to, to look at and to go through um, and reasonably quick. So if you're wanting to try different options for, um, for printing and for uh, to double check what your royalties are and what, what everything happens, um, how everything happens at different page counts and trim sizes and color versus black and white, this is how you do it.